Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian, back with another science short. And with summer in full swing and all of these 90 degree days, I'm sure a lot of you are headed out to the pools and the lakes. I know I have been. So I thought it would be appropriate if we took a look at UV rays and sunscreen. So we are gonna take a look at some very special beads that change color in UV light. UV light, or ultraviolet light, comes from the sun. It's what makes you tan. It also is what makes you sunburn. I have a special flashlight that uses UV light and will shine it on some of these beads and see what happens. And I can see them starting to change color here, which is sort of similar to how our skin changes color once it comes into contact with ultraviolet light from the sun as well. And you've probably heard lots of people tell you if you're going to be out in the sun, don't forget your sunscreen. So we are going to put some sunscreen on this other set of beads here and see if that will stop them from changing colors with our UV light. Sunscreen stops ultraviolet rays in two different ways. It has physical ingredients like zinc oxide and titanium dioxide that will reflect the ultraviolet light away from your skin. And then there are some other more complex chemical ingredients that will react with the UV rays before it even penetrates your skin. It will absorb them and then release that energy as heat. So here we go, UV light on sunscreened UV beads. And as you can see, they are mostly staying pretty plain. We're not seeing a lot of color change happen. We'll bring the other ones back for a, a final comparison. The sunscreen that we used has a special number on it, a 50 SPF. You may have seen those on other sunscreens in a 15 or a 30. That's not actually a number for how strong the sunscreen is. It refers to how much longer it will take your skin to burn from UV rays versus no sunscreen. So this one gives you 50 times as long in the sun. Thank you for following along. And just as a reminder, if you haven't signed up for summer reading yet, it's not too late. You can still come to the library or go to our website and print out one of our summer reading logs. Um, and all you have to do is read a little bit for 25 days and then bring it back to us for all kinds of prizes and drawings and fun things like that. So if you're looking for something else to do this summer, that is an option. All right, I hope to see you guys next week. Bye.